manager of the team is Roland Deflin. And the coaches, Robert Krupp, John, John Horelbecke, and Orlando Stewart. Starting lineup of Dorn Spartans. Center field number 33, Leona Reina Vian. Catcher number 97, Joiner Alfonso Arquizo de Tocanto. Second base number 21, Alexis Marquez. Left field number 46, Frank Alejandro Prieto Burgos. DH number 38, Cedric Desmet. Shortstop number 9, Nando Moser. First base number 64, Elio Fundora Besnueva. Third base number 31, Roche Junior de Sa Saedeler. Right field number 6, Rafael Duran Garcia. And starting pitcher number 85, Jose Luis Larinaga Ocampo. And rest of the team. Now let me introduce members of the team, Radvik Butchers. Manager of the team is Daniel Johnson. And starting lineup, center field number 13, Joel Johnson. Shortstop number 20, Daniel Johnson. Third base number six, Benjamin Johnson. Catcher number 24, Oscar Yersten. DH number 25, Dustin Wilson. First base, number 19, Alvin Kack. Left field, number 12, Tommy Lindell. Right field, number 5, Jan Mikhail Johnson. Second base, number 14, Carl Hoglund. And starting pitcher is number 33, Sam Borges. And rest of the team. Now please let me introduce umpires of the game. Home plate umpire, Maros Pavli. First base umpire, Roman Matuli. And third base umpire, Gabor Neme. Now please stand up for the national anthem of Belgium. Now, national anthem of Sweden.
The second day of uh, today's program is now open as Retwick BSK are facing Dorn Spartans in game four for both of these teams at this year's Federation Cup tournament, the third tier European competition. So far, uh, Retwick Butchers have only one victory in first three games. It was yesterday as they beat Apollo after seven innings by a wide margin. And the Spartans have uh, so far two victories as they lost yesterday to Dornbirn Indians who, who are unbeaten in this tournament so far as they've won all four games. The fourth one just a few hours ago when they beat Zurich Challengers 16-1. So now the first out for the defense as Retwick turn to their pitcher Sam Burries, who got a fly out to start the game from Leonel Arena. 
the lead of hitter now same body as faces Alfonso Ocanto one of the players with the highest betting average on the Spartans in this tournament now gets to the plate betting from the left side as he's a switch hitter Samborias is on the mound for the first time in this tournament as he was playing in the field the last three games now he gets a chance to pitch for the first time Spartans lost yesterday by two runs to Dornbirn Indians as this one is uh, popped up towards uh, Daniel Johnson who makes the catch for out number two. So now the bases are empty and two outs in the inning for Retvik BSK. The Spartans lost 7-9 uh, to Indians last time around as they were down by eight runs going into the ninth and they could still make it a contest as they scored six times in inning number nine to make it dramatic but uh, in the end Chris Squires got the save and the win for the Indians who are all but guaranteed a spot in Saturday's final where the winning team will earn a promotion to higher tier competition Confederation Cup. Now standing in the batter's box is Alexis Marquez facing Borias, being the number three hitter. He's batting with two outs and he's in a good count as he lines one out towards left field where the ball is played on a hop. Now it's back in the infield. So the first hit of this game goes to Alexis Marquez, who hits a single. Now Alejandro Burgos will come into bed for the Spartans with a runner on first. Samborias allowed the runner. But now he starts Burgos with strike one. And now second consecutive strike so far. Uh, Good count for the pitcher, Saimborius. He's working with two outs. Now a runner is off to second, but he has to get back as it's foul. Now ball way up high to make it even or rather to make the count one and two. And now a swing and miss by Burujos. The strikeout will be completed at first base for out number three.
Jose Ocampo is standing on the mound for Dorn Spartans as the starting pitcher in today's game against Retvik from Sweden as he faces Joel Johnson. Ocampo appeared in uh, two games so far in this tournament, out of the bullpen. Now he gets a start as he works against the leadoff hitter in uh, the Butchers lineup. Where's the team from? Uh, where's the green team from? Belgium. Belgium? Now the ball is popped up, perhaps playable for the first baseman who makes the catch for out number one. Making the catch was Elio Basnueva at first base for out number one. So now Daniel Johnson will bet from the second spot in the lineup against Ocampo. Johnson takes ball one in the dirt. He's been one of the better hitters so far in this tournament for his team. Now he gets a chance to bat with bases empty. As he takes strike one upstairs. Now he swings and misses his way in front. Make it one and two. And now he makes contact. The ball is hit deep into the outfield and it uh, skips past the outfielder. It uh, will be a triple for Daniel Johnson. So one out triple and the first opportunity to score in this game for Retwick. Good swing by Daniel Johnson as Rafael Duran Garcia could not catch it in the outfield. So there's a chance to get the first run on board for Benjamin Johnson. As he swings at the first pitch. And it goes foul. Still only one out. Guido Campo now focused on the hitter. Good block. By the catcher, it was Alfonso Canto who doesn't let the ball slip past him as the run could have scored from third. What's it below? What's it below? And now a ground ball towards second base where the throw is made, but not in time. As the run scores, to make it one nothing, Butchers. RBI ground, uh, gr ground ball, not an out. As uh, Ben Johnson is safe at first, after he made contact. So still only one out for Retwick. Now betting for them, Oscar Gersten. Who faces Ocampo as he takes a look at the breaking ball. For strike one. Early trouble for the Spartans in this game as they are behind by run. Now the runner needs to get back at first and he does.
another pick-off attempt. Yesterday, Alexis Marquez, the pitcher for the Spartans, successfully picked off one of the Dornbirn Indians. So they are trying it for the second time now. And now another base hit through the middle for a single for Oscar Jerfsten. Two, two runners are on board for the Swedish team. Still one out. And now Dustin Wilson will bet. He's got a runner in scoring position. As he takes a look at strike one. This time it's a ball outside in the dirt to make it one and one. Good patience by Wilson. Now he makes contact. As he falls it off. To make it one and two. Jose Ocampo with an early traffic on the bases. Already run has scored. Two more are on board. Now a possible double play ball, but the only play will be, will be at second base for a force out. So now the runners will be at the corners for Retwick, as it was a possible double play ball, but uh, only one out is made on the play. The force out at second base. So Albin Keck will now bet with runners at first and third. Keck hit the longest home run so far of the tournament. Now he lines one into the opposite field for a hit. As it's 2 nothing Gretwick. Albin Keck picks up an RBI single as Ben Johnson scores. I was just about to finish my thought that Albin Keg hit the longest home run of the Federation Cup this year as he hit one towards right field, the deepest part of the ballpark, or one of the deepest part, parts in the right field. Yesterday against Apollo, now he picks up another RBI on a single to double the lead for Retwick. And this one is also driven and it drops. So another run will score for Retwick VSK as Dustin Wilson is home. Three nothing, another RBI single. Another solid hit, this time from Tommy Lindell. So three runs. Score in the first inning as the time is taken.
now Jan Mikael Johnson will bet after a, a visit from the coach to Ocampo as he had a rough start to this game allowing three runs to score in the top of inning number one in the bottom of inning number one so Jan Mikael Johnson now gets a chance to bet as he takes strike two Already a great inning on offense with three runs on the board and now a swing and miss. Ocampo picks up a strikeout to get out of the inning. Cedric, Cedric Desmet leading things off in inning number two for the Spartans, who are down by three runs against Retvik. Still pitching for the Swedish team is Sam Borges, who got a clean inning in the top of the first. Now he faces Cedric Desmet. Right-handed hitter. And he now strikes out as the K is completed with a throw to first base. So, a quick out as a called third strike was made by the home plate empire, Roman Matulik. So, Nando Mostert will now bet with uh, bases empty and one out. As he takes strike one on the inside edge. So far, confident outing from Semborius on the mound. Now it's outside and in the dirt for a ball. Now Mostert hits one in the air. And it's caught in right field for our number two. So two quick outs for Sam Borges in the top half of inning number two as Elio Basnueva now stands at the plate as he looks at fastball down the middle. For strike one. Now he swings at one and hits it hard towards third base as it gets through. Tough play to make for the third baseman as he had to 
react really quickly at the hot corner. But Daniel Johnson could not handle this hard hit ball. That is why we have uh, a runner on for Rocket Junior de Sadler with two outs. He takes ball one. Throw back to first, and the runner is safe. <laughs> this one uh, gets back into the strike zone for Boris. Now this one is grounded towards shortstop who cannot make the play or can he now he does he lost his balance but still was able to make the short throw to second for out number three Kalle Hoglund now bets for Retwick to lead off bottom of the second with uh, his team leading 3 nothing against Dorn Spartans, team from Belgium. Retwick looking for their second win of the tournament. Still, Retwick can make it and advance to Saturday's final, but they need wins in all remaining games. Now, strike three is called. So, good start for Ocampo, who needed to bounce back after a rough first inning. Check swing, but still ruled the strike. Nevertheless, now the lineup turns over to Joel Johnson, the leadoff guy for the Swedish team. As he now swings at one and sends it foul. It was hit a long way. But uh, it drifted foul down the left field line. Just a bit late on the swing. Or rather early on the swing as the ball was lifted to left. And now Johnson gets hit by pitch. He takes one for the team. And he is now on base. He 
got it on the shoulder from Ocampo who quickly got the first out but now he faces Daniel Johnson with uh, runner on base as he takes a swing at pitch number one Big swing by Daniel Johnson. It was fouled off. And the catcher appears to be walking it off. Yes. Alfonso Ocanto got it. Now everything seems to be okay. We can go on with this game. As Ocampo focuses on Daniel Johnson. Now he tests Joel Johnson, who is not on his way to se second base. Because he's back safely. Now we still try and throw to second is late. Too high from Ocanto as the runner still second base. Not the worst throw, but the runner got a good jump. As he takes second. Get into scoring position now. The ball is hit on the ground towards shortstop, who makes a clean play and throws the runner out at first. For our number two. So Daniel Johnson grounds out, and now Benjamin Johnson will bat. Runner on third base, two outs, and a strike one is taken on the outside edge. Now this one is popped up, playable. In shallow right to uh, to make the catch for out number three.
Rafael Garcia now betting for the Spartans to lead off inning number three. As he faces the same pitcher, Sam Borges, who's had an excellent start to this game. Still keeping the Spartans scoreless. Now he gets Garcia to foul it off. This one is too high for a ball to make it one and two. Another good take by Garcia. Close pitch, call the ball. The outside edge. So the count is full. Good job by Garcia. But now he swings and misses for strike number one. As Gorias picks up another punch out. The lineup will now flip over to well, Reina, who will bat with bases empty. And one out. Still not much going on on offense for Dorn. As they are waiting for their first runs of this game. Reina shows bunt, but takes it back and takes the ball. So now a good chance to get the run around with the count being 3 0. But Boris gets back in, back in the strike zone. Still a good hitter's count for Reina. And now it's full after a foul ball. This one is way up high for a ball four. So Reina takes a walk. As he gets on base for Afonso Canto. Can obviously hit the ball a long way. And he now has a run through a quit at first base. Somebody will be keep, keeping a close eye on him. As Reina is the lead off hitter and he's got some good legs. Now he goes for second, as the bunt is shown, but fouled off. So Canto tried to advance the runner into scoring position. He was unable to do so. Another, another pitch where the runner goes, so Canto hits it out towards uh, right field. The runner gets back. But uh, the catch is made for out number two. So Samborias picks up another out. Another dangerous hitter coming to plate. Alexis Marquez who already has a single in today's game as he faces Samborias. Still on first base, it's Reina. Now 
now strike on a fastball. Good located pitch. And another one in the same spot to make it one and two. Confident Samborius. Now needs just one strike to get out of the inning for his team. Reina gets back. As he takes ball two. Count is now even. Let's see if Reina is on the move again. It almost looked like a pitch out. Hey, infield, throw it across. Yes, two. Nothing doing at first base. Still, now the runner will be on the move with a count full. As. Uh, this is lined towards center field. Another hit for Alexis Marquez, the second one in this game. So the runners are at the corners with two outs. Chance to get their first runs on the board for the Spartans. Coming into bed is Alejandro Burgos. Two outs, runners at the corners as Burgos gets the first uh, points on the board for the Spartans with an RBI single towards left field. It found the hole. As the third baseman was diving to make the play, but he could not. Good contact by Burgos to make it 1 3. No advance to third this time. The runners are at first and second for Cedric Desmet. Desmet puts it on the ground. This time it's played perfectly for out number three. But the Spartans get the one run back.
So pitching change is made by the Spartans after Jose Ocampo gives up a lead-off single to Oscar Jerfsten. So Cedric Desmond now goes into pitch for the Spartans. They trail Retrick Butchers 1-3 in today's second game of Federation Cup. First uh, hitter Desmond faces is Dustin Wilson. He fouls one off. Cedric Desmond has already made one pitching performance in this tournament. was successful so now he will look to continue with good pitching as his team needs him and this one is taken for a strike a good start for this man Now Alpin Keck flies one towards the right field and it goes foul. Another well struck ball by Alvin Keck. Dangerous power hitter. Left hander now behind an account on one. Now Cedric Desmet fires in for a ball. Back into the strike zone. Great job by Desmet to get a strikeout on 
pitch in the dirt for the second out of the inning. Tommy Lindell now stands in the batter's box for a red week as they are having a tough time against uh, Cedric Desmet so far. He's been able to pick up two outs. And now he gets a strikeout, second consecutive for Desmet to get out of the inning.
Two quick outs for Samborius on the mound to begin inning number four. As first, uh, there was a fly out, and now Elio Basnueva strikes out. For out number two in the top of inning number four. So the bases are empty for Roque Junior de Sedeler. Samborius has been great so far. He's only given up one earned run as he gets the settler to swing and miss at a high pitch. Now it's uh, one and one after the appeal. Or no, he did go, so it should be 0 and 2. Now the ball is put in play and it will be an infield single. As the second baseman was on the move towards first. Not the greatest of place for Retvik as Alejo Glund look to be on the way out of the ball instead of towards it. He was maybe thinking that the pitcher will be covering, but that's the job of the first baseman. So instead it's a single. And the runner is on for the Spartans. For Rafa Garcia, his team trailing by two so far. Sam Borges has pitched almost four innings. And he's given up only one run and striking out four in his outing. Now Garcia takes ball two. This one is called a strike. He checked the swing. And the an appeal down the first says it's a ball, so the count is full at three balls. Two strikes. Runner is on the move and he will get to second base as he would have been there regardless because a base on balls gives him an opportunity to go there without running. So now two runners are on after two quick outs for the Spartans. As the lineup flips over to Lono Reina. So far in this game, Lorena has scored a run. He's had uh, one walk in uh, two trips to the plate. He's carrying a 133 batting average in this tournament. The greatest number for a Lido hitter as he now takes ball outside. Sam Borges would like to finish this inning with two outs. As he now swings and misses. He now gets a swing and miss from Reina. So only one strike needed for 
Retwick to get out of the inning. Now ball in the dirt. As the runners have to stop. So Elmer Arena now tight. It's two and two with the pitcher. This one is inside for a ball to make it full. Payoff pitch coming up. Borges would like to add another strikeout to his resume. He's got four. Now a pickoff move, but nothing doing. The runners will be on the move with the full count. Yes, Reina fouls it off behind the home plate. And it was uh, maybe possible for the catcher to make the catch. But a tough play behind home plate. Yes, Jerevsten was looking for it, but it dropped in the end behind the fence. So, ball out of play. And now Borges gets another foul ball out of Leonel Reina, who keeps battling. Good at bat by the outfielder. Still two outs. Reina keeps on battling with Samurias, refuses to give in. Samurias with his catcher looking for a pitch to get an out. Reina is so far protecting the plate well. And now he takes ball four. The bases will be loaded to Alfonso Canto. Good opportunity for Spartans to get back in this game. They trail by two. Now they have a chance to even the game up or even perhaps take the lead. But Burrier starts Ocanto off with strike one. by Oscar Jerevsten, the catcher. Now breaking ball, call the ball. Good job uh, by Ocanto for laying off the pitch. Now he puts one in the air. It's hit uh, the opposite way and caught in the left field. By Lindell to end the inning.
Cedric Desmet is on the mound, having replaced Jose Ocampo for the Spartans. And he has since uh, been very good, picking up three outs in the last half of the inning. And now he faces another player. As he is up against Mikael Johnson, and he's ahead in the count, one and two. And he gets a swing and miss for strike. For strikeout and out number one. Now Kale Hoglund will get to bed. With bases empty, his team leading uh, Spartans 3-1 so far. Close game between uh, two teams. As Hoglund looks to get on base. He struck out once so far. And now he is hit by pitch to take the base. Big swing and miss by Joel Johnson. As the lineup flips over towards leadoff man for uh, the Butchers. He's got the runner on first base. He's back in time. Another big swing and miss. And a snap throw is way out of reach of the first baseman, Basnueva, as the runner advances to third on the throw. So now a gifted opportunity to Retvik as there was a miscommunication between the catcher and the first baseman. Yes. Höglund now is at third base with only one out for Daniel Joel Johnson. But this one is called on the outside edge. And it's a strike three. So an important strikeout for Desmet. Who now gives it up to Daniel Johnson. As he will face him with uh, two outs and runner on third. As Desmet fires in a strike, one. Important run is at third base. It would make a three run lead once again. Good block by Ocanto. Another good block on the pitch outside by the catcher. To make it two and one. This one is called on the outside edge. Yes, uh, Johnson did not like it. And now a swing and miss, a huge strikeout for 
Dressmed who gets out of the inning without allowing any more runs. Sam Burius still on the mound for uh, Retwick BSK as his team is leading uh, Spartans 3 1. And the uh, beginning of inning number five is facing Alexis Marquez, who's got two base hits in this game. So Burius will need to be careful. As he fires in a ball to make it 2 and 1. Another ball high. Good hitters count for Marquez with nobody out. And Boris is uh, maybe too careful with Marquez as he puts him on, on base on walls. Bunt is shown, but quickly taken back. But still enough to foul the pitch off behind the home plate by Alejandro Burgos. Steel is on, but the possible double play ball. And the throw is wild as it gets into the dugout. So it will be an error charge to second baseman. As Burgos grounded in what looked like to be an easy double play. But maybe Höglund got too much time as he made an errant throw to first. 
and throws it out. So the runner advances to second with only one out. Recorded on the play as Desmet takes strike one. Even to Cedric Desmond, who is now pitching for the Spartans. <laughs> out runner breaks for third, and he's out on a great throw by Oscar Jefferson. Trying to steal third. Alexis Marquez was caught. Give uh, credit to the catcher for an accurate throw at third base. Now this one is playable, but the uh, throw gets away as uh, Cedric Desmet is now holding his thigh and it doesn't look good for the pitcher as it looks like a muscle injury as we will take a timeout. Let's hope he's going to be okay.
So after an injury delay, as Cedric Desmond went down, we continue with the runner on first base and two outs with Nando Mostert facing Sam Borius. As Mostert goes ahead in the count, now he grounds one fair down the left field line. As he will advance the runner to second for a single. Liner that just stayed fair down the third baseline, and now you can see it. Perfectly placed the ball by Nando Mostert to give it up to Elio Bastueva, who bats with two outs and two runners on. As he swings and misses. Takes ball one outside. Now ball two. Good hitters count to Basnueva. As he takes ball four to load the bases once again for the Spartans. Last time they didn't score on such an occasion. Now they have another opportunity for Roque Junior de Sedeler. Who will bet with uh, bases loaded and two outs. to lose command. Now he gets back into the strike zone with a fastball. Now a grounder towards Shortstop who steps on the back uh, for a force out to end the inning.
New pitcher is on the mound for the Spartans, Eder Hernandez, as he gets to face Ben Johnson to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning with the Spartans still trailing by two runs. Patrick BSK are looking sharp so far, especially on defense with Sam Burrius leading the way from the mound. So Hernandez starts the first batter off with uh, strike one. This one is popped up way up in the air and it uh, drops out of play to make it 0 and 2. Take by Ben Johnson. Now a swing and miss. So Hernandez picks up a strikeout. Missing his first batter of this game. Chargers then now coming into bed. He takes ball one in the dirt. Then uh, flies one out towards uh, left field where the comfortable catch is made by Alejandro Burjos for out number two. Spartans need a quick 1-2-3 inning to get back on offense to try to do something about the deficit and now they are close to getting the three outs as Dustin Wilson flies it towards uh, right field this time but the center fielder takes it as Reina has it in his glove for a 1-2-3 inning.
Emburius still on the mound for Retvik in inning number six. As he faces uh, Garcia to start things off. As he is now behind 3-0. Ball four, so he lost him on four pitches. Not a good start for Borges to inning number six. Now, Borges will face the leadoff man. Leonel Reina. He takes ball one. Still no strikes in this inning by Samborius. Now he gets back into the strike zone to make it one and one. Good bunt. By Reina, tough play at first base as the runner will get to third on an errant throw by the third baseman. So the runners are at the corners now for Afonso Canto, who will now get a chance to bet with the uh, runner in scoring position at third. With nobody out, Reina stays at first. So good uh, opportunity for Dorn to Tie this game up. As a visit is made to the mound. It looks like Burrias will stay on the mound. One to Ocanto to begin the at bat. This one is driven well, and the sliding uh, catch is not made, the run will score. And uh, Ocanto picks up an RBI, as he brings home his teammate, still nobody out. And uh, the Spartans are coming back. Runners on first and second. Nobody out in the top of the sixth. Now it's 2 3. An RBI single. As Tommy Lindell was diving for the ball, but he could not make the catch. Ridden 18 pitches he's thrown in this game as Alexis Marquez takes strike one. He now bets with two runners on and nobody out. This one is uh, driven a foul to make it 0 2. Good start. This better by Samborius. Hey. 
Now it slides towards the right field. And the catch is not made by the second baseman who made a diving effort. But it's sailed out of his glove, out of his reach for a single. Great effort, but still a bit short. Was the second baseman. And now the bases will be full with Spartans. With Alejandro Burjos coming to bat. Only one run lead to Retwick, but the bases are loaded. And soon Spartans will have a chance to get in the lead for the first time in this game. puts it in the air and the catch is made and the throw is uh, in time so not enough on this to be a sacrifice fly out number one is made by Sam Varias thanks to a catch so still narrow lead to Retwick Butchers. Nice throw from center field to cut down the runner as he stayed at th third base. Now Hernandez bets for the first time. He bets for himself. He's doing the pitching as he took over from Cedric Desmet. Now a bunt is shown on a wild pitch. The run scores to make it three apiece. And now the ball gets away. Another run will score. Mistakes in the throwing game as the Spartans take the lead. First the run scores on the wild pitch, then Throw back to second uh, was a wild one as it bounced. And two runs eventually scored on the play. So Dorn Spartans lead 4-3. One ball and one strike as uh, Hernandez is uh, still in the weather's box, obviously. As he had nothing to do with those runs. Now he takes strike two to make it one and two. This one is in the dirt for a ball. This one is also low. This one is aligned towards the right field. The lead will get bigger as the run scores. An RBI single as Alexis Marquez comes home. On a hit by Hernandez, who helps his cause to make the lead two now for Dorn.
Still only one out in the inning. Now betting is done the most third. And this, this ball gets away from the catcher. Another runner will be in scoring position for the Spartans. The beginning for them. Already more than 130 pitches thrown by Boris as Mostert. Checks his swing, uh, but it's a cold strike. 5-3 Spartans in this game. Good take by Mostert. Still only one out in the inning. Now a ball taken by Moster. Runner is in scoring position for him at second base. He puts one in the air and it will drop in front of the right fielder for another hit. So now Burias is getting hit around. Under set the corners for Elio Bastueva with one out. And the timeout is taken, perhaps to change the pitchers.
New pitcher is in the game for Redwick as Joel Johnson now takes the reins from Sam Boreas who was hit around and could not get more than one out in inning number six. Runners are at the corners for Elio Basnoeva. Already four runs have come across in this inning for the Spartans who still are looking for more. Now a hidden run was on. Fernando Mostert needs to get back. Another foul ball. So it's on two. Now a strikeout. An important one for Joel Johnson. Important second out. With Nando Mostert still at first. And now coming into bed, Roque Junior de Sedolaire. His team holding a two run lead. Our ball is uh, in the air and a diving effort is made at first, but it goes in vain. Nevertheless, good effort at first base by Hoglund. As the Rocky Junior de Sadale will get back into the box. This one is driven towards left field, but playable. And the catch is made for out number three. So Spartans leave with two runners on base.
Hernandez continues to work from the mound as he gets a ground out to start. Inning number six. Or it's bottom end for the Spartans on defense. Now Tommy Lindell will bet with bases empty. His team lost a 3-1 lead in the last half of the inning. And now... They are looking for some base runners. Take by Tommy Lindo. And another one from the left fielder. as a strike after a swing to make it two and two. The breaking ball too high from Hernandez. Drives one towards center field, right into the glove of Leonel Reina for out number two. strikes another bad off with strike one facing Ben Johnson Count is full to Ben Johnson, Jan Mikel Johnson, who faces Hernandez, looking to become the first base runner for his team in bottom of the sixth. Hernandez still looking strong. Now the ball is put in play. Shortstop Mostert takes it and makes a good throw to Elio Basnueva to end the inning.
strikeout to begin inning number seven for Joel Johnson on the mound as he takes care of Rafa Garcia to start things off. And he now faces Lono Reina. Swing and miss to make it one and two. Marina. He's still battling to stay alive. Lines one towards second base. And an out throw is made at first base for out number two. So far a good inning by Joel Johnson on the mound. As he gets two outs very quickly. and miss by Ocanto to fall behind 0-1 against Joel Johnson who relieved Samborius. The last inning was a successful one on offense for the Spartans but they are still only two runs ahead over at Twig so they have to be careful. Foul ball to make it 0-2. Swing and miss by Ocanto for a strikeout in our number three.
pop out to begin uh, bottom of inning number seven for the Spartans as Elio Bastueva takes care of the first hitter in this inning being Kala Hoglund. So since Hernandez came to the mound, it's been all strikes and all outs for Spartans who are now facing Joel Johnson who is doing the pitching right now for Retwick who trailed by two runs in the bottom of the seventh. It's one on one after this swing. Breaking ball on the outside edge for a strike. To make it one and two against the Joel Johnson. Good take by Joel Johnson. Base hit from uh, for George Johnson into right field for a single against Hernandez to get on base for Daniel Johnson. As the Red Week uh, players are not going down without a fight against the Spartans. We still try, and the runner is safe. Close play at second. Where the ruling was made. And a stolen base in the end. The ball skipped out of the glove. But now the empires reconsider as to whether Call on the field will stand. It was a close play. And he remains safe. Pitch by Hernandez. Runner is in scoring position for Daniel Johnson at second base. Now one and two, the count against Johnson.
Big strikeout for Hernandez who gets Johnson to swing and miss in the third. Out number two. There are two outs now for Ben Johnson. Now pitch high, hold on to by Ocanto. towards left field and the run will score on the play an RBI single for Ben Johnson as he lines one into left field for a hit now only one run deficit as Retvik are not going down and it looks as though we are going to have another pitching change Anderson Hender, Herdel Nieto now pitching for the Spartans as he is replacing Hernandez on the mound. Inheriting a runner on first base with two outs. Spartans still need one more to get out of the seventh. He faces Oscar Jersten who swings and fouls it off.
a foul ball. This one is also fall back, not playable. So Herdonieto will need to work some more for out number three. Nieto. He's seen some pitches and he's fouling everything off. Now he cannot make contact anymore as he swings at a pitch in the dirt. And the strikeout is completed at first base to end the seventh. Top of inning number eight. Joel Johnson is on the mound for Rutwick against Spartans with his team trailing by one. And he faces Marquez to begin the inning. Now a ground ball. And an opposite field single for the Spartans to lead off the inning. Third hit for Marquez in this game. So 
now. Alejandro Burgos will bet with the runner on base. Steal attempt and the runner is out. Trying to take second base. Good job by Oscar Gersten to make an accurate throw to get the runner trying to steal. Excellent job. Ben Johnson picks up the ball. So now number one for Joel Johnson in the end. Pitch, call the strike on the outside edge. To make it two and one. This one grounded foul to make it even. Strikeout for Joel Johnson on a full count. For a number two. Now Anderson Gerdel Nieto bets for himself. Facing Joel Johnson. Swing and miss. He stays alive against Johnson. This time, uh, strike out on a pitch in the dirt to end uh, this half of the inning.
Zemborius swings and misses against Herdal Nieto, who is on the mound for the Spartans. As they lead 5-4 against Retvik BSK. And now a strikeout. Quick work of uh, Semborius for the first out. Now Albin Kek will bet with bases empty. Herdel Nieto keeps punching the strike zone, pounding the strike zone rather. Another one is called for a strike. So far great inning, five strikes thrown. Only just got a piece of it, it was Kek. Takes ball one. First ball of the inning for Ferdonieto. Now Keg makes contact and he grounds it towards first base. But runner is safe. It was a close play at first. And the Red Wings players celebrate in the dugout. Now we'll take one more look at it. As Basnueva made the throw. And a good call. He was safe. We saw it on the replay. So Tommy Lindell bets with one out. And runner on. As he takes a bunt back, take ball one. Now check back at first, but the runner is safely back. One is out for a ball as well. As Herdal Nieto works against uh, Tommy Lindell, and he now gets a swing and miss. Strike two. This one is put in the air and popped up for out number two by Tommy Lindell. Now the lineup will turn towards Jan Mikael Johnson. Herdel Nieto needs just one more out to get out of the jam. Swing and miss by Johnson. Big one on the first pitch. In the 
second one is also in for a strike. So now just one more needed. For the Spartans to get into the ninth. And uh, it's in for a strikeout to keep it 5-4. Start of inning number nine on the mound is still Joel Johnson as his team is trailing by one. They will need to get a clean inning here and hope for, a, for an opportunity to come back in the game in the bottom of the ninth. Now Joel Johnson fires in a ball to make it two and two. This one is taken for a ball as well to make it full. Three balls, two strikes. But this one is in for a strike three call. As Nando Mostert gets sent into the dugout. Elio Basnueva will bet with uh, bases empty and one out. Top of inning number nine. He takes ball one outside. Now it's a pitch in the strike zone. Nueva puts one in play towards shortstop who makes the play at uh, the first baseman for out number two. So a ground out following a strikeout. And now two outs to Rocky Junior De Sedeler who will now bet for the Spartans hoping to extend the inning. Let we go, still trailing only by one run. And the settler takes ball one outside.
Now he swings at one and lifts it towards left field. It goes foul. And the third out is made, uh, thrown out at first base is the settler. Into the bottom of the ninth we go. Bottom of inning number nine is uh, Herdo Nieto is pitching for the Spartans, hoping to close this one out against uh, Kala Hoglund, who swings and misses at pitch number two to make it 0-2. Three outs away are the Spartans from getting their third win of this tournament. They are hoping to join Dornbirn Indians, who are still unbeaten. Spartans obviously have only two wins, but now are closer to their third as the strike is called. And the first out is recorded by Herdel Nieto in the bottom of ninth. But now he gets to face Joel Johnson with one out and nobody on. This one is outside for the ball. Now the strike is taken to make it even at one. Most important at bat of this game so far. Joel Johnson standing in a batter's box. Now he does a good job of not swinging. Keeps a band on his shoulder. And it's two and one. A swing and miss. Good job by Cardinal Nieto. Another strikeout for Cardinal Nieto. For the second out of the inning, now only one needed by the Spartans to get the victory.
only hope now is Daniel Johnson, who looks at ball one. Swing and miss. One ball, one strike. He will be looking to strike out the side to close the game out. Nieto. Another swing and miss. Great stuff by the pitcher for the Spartans. Only just one more strike to finish the game off. He's ready. And it's a close call on a ball two. Still room for the pitcher to get the runner chasing. Good job by Daniel Johnson not to bite on a pitch outside. Full count, payoff pitch coming up. One run game. The ball is skied towards the left field and driven foul. Johnson battling to stay in it. He's the only hope for his team. Now he swings and misses, strike out to end the game as Cardinal Nieto strikes out the side to end the ball game. Spartans get their third win of the tournament as they beat Retvik 5-4. We are waiting for the last game between Apollo and Osdisorgorn. Stay with us. <laughs>